Hello everybody and welcome back to Provost Gaming and more EU for the Rights of Man playing as Ethiopia. Alright, so, new recording session, new week. Happy Monday, everybody. Alright, what do we want to do now? So we did kill Mutapa last time, took a bunch of money. Uh, I think we still have some debt that we need to worry about. Let's see, one loan, it's going to be about 1,500 ducats to pay off, but... We have not been rushing to pay it off anytime soon because we are uh, trying to build manufactories that hopefully will help us get the next institution, which begins in five years. Um, I'm not sure how much more I want to keep doing that. It probably is about time to start worrying about paying off that debt. Which, by the way, we're making 33 ducats a month right now, apparently, which is really good. We actually should consider reducing our inflation at some point. Other thing I should consider doing is actually creating some more states. Uh, especially up here in the Tunisian region, and Tlemcen, fair bit of development to be had. Uh, I don't think we need to worry too much about states down here. And more in the Middle East is okay, I guess, or Turkey. I don't know, it's, it'd be a good use of some more admin power, but I'm still kind of on a conquest spree. Still conquering a bunch of stuff for reasons, so. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah. Alright, so something I did see in the comments from a couple videos ago. Uh, it seems that people really don't want me to kill Oman for some reason. Uh, I saw a couple suggestions that instead I ought to make them into a march. Now, that's actually not a bad idea, the march concept. I'm not going to do that for Oman for a couple of reasons, alright? First and foremost, they have good military tech, alright? They're one level behind me. But they're terrible in admin and diplomatic. They're not going to be very good at making money and kind of defending their borders and getting idea groups that'll make them effective. It actually would be far more better to take a stronger nation like... Actually, I get maybe Car no Car is just about as bad. I don't know. It actually might be better to just kind of conquer as much as I need to, and then once the imperialism era begins, create a new nation with which will have my tech groups or my uh, tech levels, and make them into a march. And here's kind of what I'm envisioning here: if I can expand all the way up to the Caspian Sea and just kind of create a little line right here and say that's the end, that's as far east as Ethiopia is going to go and create a large honkin' march over here, which will be kind of my eastern gateway into the nation. That could be kind of fun. I don't play with marches pretty much ever. In fact, all vassals that I take, usually I intend on uh, annexing at some point. But we haven't been playing that game very much. In fact, we haven't got influence ideas to reduce the cost. It actually could be kind of fun just to feed a massive march nation, which produces a lot of regiments for me to use in war, uh, that I don't have to pay for. That actually isn't a terrible idea, and it could be fun to play that game. But not necessarily with Oman, they're just too weak. The other reason that I'm not going to do with Oman specifically, and this is just silly, but if I'm going to kind of create a little line here, I want to just take over the rest of Saudi Arabia because it makes the borders look nice. You know? I mean, it, again, that's a stupid reason, right? It's just, oh, it looks good, but uh, come on. I want something that looks good in the replay. So I probably will kill Oman um, at some point, and depending on how things go, wh what, how we time this... I might create a new subject nation in this area, make them into a march, and feed them all of Kara, Persia, Afghanistan. Might even push into India and stuff. We'll see. But I don't think Oman is going to be a part of that. So, I mean, the only reason I haven't killed them yet is because they were helpful to me. But they're not helping me in any of my wars right now because they're too far away. There's really no point to being allied to them except for some sort of sense of nostalgia. And I, at the end of the day, am not a very nostalgic person. Also, there's a fair bit of development to eat up that's really easy to do, and they have no allies aside from me. So, when I decide to kill them, it's going to be easy, free territory, and they're not going to serve much purpose to me at any other point in the game. So, that's my idea there. Uh, I have seen some people saying, just go ahead and take Spain. You know, I might. Uh, we'll see. <sighs> there, there are some really good arguments financially to do so. The only reason I wouldn't is, again, because of the borders and kind of, kind of sticking to my restriction of not moving into Europe. Although I did take Malta, but, and, and Crete, but whatever. Like, not pushing into mainland Europe up here. Just for the sake of, hey, we didn't kill Europe. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. I am still going to focus on Africa, but when the time comes to betray Spain and take their colonies, maybe I'll move into Spain proper as well. We'll see. It's, it's a thought. It could happen. All right, let's get these guys all grouped up. Um, should I just kill these guys real quick? Are you allied to anyone? You are allied to Incor. Who am I trying to build? Uh, yes, in core. Okay, we're trying to improve relations with Spain right now. How does the unrest look right now? Pretty bad. Uh, Savannah, dry land. So no defensive terrain to worry about. So we're fine where we are. Uh, this does have 10 development as opposed to... Yeah, this is probably where the rebels are going to spawn. So we're okay. We're going to go ahead and put those all down. Hmm. 
what to do next? Now, I could stack up on some power. We are going to want to take some tech in the near future. Uh, Absolute Monarchy would become unlocked. Do I care about an Absolute Monarchy? Discipline's good for combat. National unrest can be useful. Better autonomy change. More diplomats, blah, blah, blah. What kind of uh, government do I have right now? Uh, right now we have an administrative monarchy. So we're good at making money. Now the autonomy change could be useful. The money is certainly helpful for institutions. Uh, I don't know. An absolute monarchy actually might not be a bad investment for us. Whoop. I'm recapped. No, we can have up to 1,018 power. Alright, so I need to spend a little bit of my military power. Um... So the only thing I can think to do then is build some more developments. Unless I want to... I don't need to increase legitimacy. The military power can't really be used for much else. So theoretically then, unless I want to put down some rebels, but... I mean, 43,000 rebels, we can handle that. They're at 90%. We'll be okay. So yeah, it's development time. Uh, let's see. Where can I take... I wish there... Is there a buildings map mode where I can see... Manufactories specifically? No, it just tells me how many building slots I've got. Alright. So I actually need to go to the buildings icon here. Okay, so we have a trade company up there. Trade... Uh, another plantation thing down here. Okay. Uh, weapons manufactory. I thought it was going to go up here. Some more goods. Hmm. Where to place this development? That is kind of a tough one. I want to be more effective near where I'm placing these manufactories and stuff, so I spread a little bit faster to the neighboring areas. Could upgrade Gaza a little bit. Let's do a couple in Gaza. I mostly want to update my states, though, don't I? I don't think so. Let's do a couple here as well. Um, Aleppo, we are building that textile manufactory, so let's do a couple in Antioch as well. Alright, that should be enough power spent. This will help, uh, once Aleppo has a manufactory, once a manufactory's institution does spread, this will help me spread into Antioch, which gets me some sea access. Adana, kind of getting into the Turkey region, which I have a few states, and a fair bit of development, so we're just kind of trying to speed that up. You know, just kind of lubricate the, uh, institution spread just a wee little bit. Maja Bahit is refusing the merchants of Malacca. Don't care. How are we looking as far as our colonists? Doing okay, getting up to 700 in a few places, and a general has left us, and the Moroccans did fire. Uh, we do not have a general here anymore, so let's put this guy in charge. I guess I could actually just hire a new general, now that I have the power. Yeah, alright, let's go ahead and grab one. Wow, that is a terrible leader. God-awful, in fact. I'll save the rest of my power for now. Alright, you're dead. Commonwealth is claiming stuff against us. Let's kill the rest of these. Let's back some of these guys off so I don't take attrition. And Moroccans are done. So that actually takes care of pretty much all of the unrest in that region. Let's go ahead and move these two stacks over here to try and put down those rebels. Uh, as far as anything else, I think we're more or less free for a little bit. So let's actually start marching this army over to... Hmm, I don't know. Let's say over here. Maybe we'll want to kill Timbuktu. Maybe we'll want to kill... Uh, Noop or something. I don't know. We need to start moving into Western Africa a little bit more. I would kill Hejaz. Well, they're actually allied to Afghanistan. Afghanistan is reasonable. Um, I'd like to just kind of get rid of them, blot them off the map, you know? Hmm. Could I use Oman in one final war? You know what? Yeah, probably. I won't gain a lot out of it, but maybe I'll get some extra war reps, some money, take Hejaz, finally knock them out of the war. Or out of the game. Georgia and Kara are fighting. Kara is another person I could kill. They are Kiva is a march under them. This guy right here? Interesting. Uh, alternatively, the Ottomans, which I'm fighting a claim against as well. They have no allies. We actually should just kill the Ottomans. That's a higher priority than killing Hejaz. Get the last of this territory here before the Commonwealth eats it. There's a fair amount of development here, just a little, little bit. And Turkish should already be an accepted culture, yeah? Yeah, it is. There's no other cultures that I really feel like I have to embrace right now. Syrian, yes, it's 7%. However, it's not a... I don't think it's a state. Now, well, some of it isn't. And the Syrian culture group is, like, contained to this region. It's never going to be more than this. It's only going to go down and be worth, like, 5 4% later and so on. So... 
Uh, really, ideally, I would want... To, if I were planning on moving into Greece, for example, embracing the Greek culture and then pushing into proper Greece, that would make a lot of sense. Eventually. I don't know. Maybe someday we want to accept... Um, ooh, hang on. <gasps> okay, hang on. People are actually supporting the independence of Russia. Russia is friendly towards me now. Okay, that's weird. Why? Why? Hang on. No, seriously, though. Why? They're just going to rival me later, but this actually could be a really good opportunity. Support their independence and take them away from Austria. Kind of like that. Let's go ahead and pull off of Spain. I'm going to support their independence alongside France and... Uh, Vijayagar. Vijayanagar. Vijayanagar? Something. I don't know. I don't want Austria to use uh, Russia and kind of bully the world with them. That's just too much. So I absolutely will support their independence and just allow uh, notify them that. You know, I am, I'm willing to jump in on this and kill Austria for you. And... Did I just die? Really? Frickin' Regency Councils! God dang it. Alright, well... That blows. So, does this mean I can't declare no wars? I think I still can declare a war, actually. It's not really a Regency Council anymore. I can totally still do that. Spain is even willing to join in on this one. I don't think I needed their help, but... Yeah, that is interesting. Right, well, uh, that's going to screw with my power a little bit, producing a lot less military and administrative power, but all right. Um, maybe eventually we'll be okay. Let's see. We have a Salamonid back on the throne. I mean, ironically enough, the Queen Regent. But a De Valoy. It is kind of weird that we're playing musical chairs here. Salamonids on the Spanish side, Salamonids on the French side, but I've got De Valois. It's like we're, we're playing we're playing musical monarchs or musical thrones. Someone's returning unlawful territory. So, Russia, when are you gonna when are you gonna support your independence here? When are you gonna actually do this? Because you have a lot of territory, you have a lot of troops, more than Austria does, and you have some pretty big allies that are willing to help you. I mean, France, Ethiopia, and Vajia Mayanar. That's pretty good, by most standards. Oh, and there it is! Okay, we have supported the independence of Russia. They declared their righteous war against Austria. We are now fighting. Hey, hey! Let's get our troops together. Let's go over here. Now, is the Commonwealth going to join in on this one? Oh, yes, they did. This is a big war. Now, that said, we got 326k against their 86. So, we're in pretty good shape. We should be able to win this fairly easily, I would think. But yeah, we're going to need to get all these troops together. This is going to be a big war. All right, guys, you got your World War I, quote-unquote. It's not quite as big as it would have been because Spain's not in it, and we're fighting with Russia, not against them. So, in theory, this ought to be a stomp. But, at the very least, now, Russia is not going to be under Austria's thumb. Let's go ahead and convert all of this territory. Boom. I love having six missionaries. That actually makes things really fast. Uh, we still need to have this stack down here because I'm expecting some rebels. I'm going to kill Madagascar at some point, too. Because they're my color, I sometimes forget that we don't actually own that. How are we looking as far as this colonial thing? Which one is this? Yuin. Okay, so that one's up to 737. So in a few months, slash a couple years or so, um, we should have our Australian nation. That'll be fun. Russia is now once again considered a great power. Excellent. Um... I don't suppose, like, Spain joined on this. No, it really is just Russia, Ethiopia, and France, and part of India. S sort of surprised that Spain didn't get in on this game, but I guess... No, they're still rival to Austria. I'm not sure. Spain actually had a pretty good incentive to get involved in that one. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my forts again. I don't need these. I don't have any up here that'll be useful to me. Uh, do we have military access through the Ottomans' territory? No. I really wish we did. Mm. On the plus side, uh, if Russia breaks free and we have to rival them again, at least I get another rival, I can start getting some power projection. That could be good. Okay, these armies need to stop marching together because they're just causing stupid attrition. Get a little bit more ground. There we go. Hejaz ent entered into a military coalition. Mali entered into a military coalition. Holy crap, where'd the Commonwealth come from? There they are. Found them. What's your tech level? 18. So we actually are ahead of you right now. Uh, and in two years... 
I'll be able to get another level of military tech. I actually could take it early. The infantry fire, combat with, and improved cannons would be extremely potent. I mean, extremely potent. I am going to turn on this fort, just to give them uh, a little bit of a disincentive to get involved with me. Timbuktu, all right, so everyone's joining into a military coalition because I am distracted in a massive war. So they feel like they're safe to do so. And even the Ottomans have joined. Okay. That doesn't surprise me. Um, as soon as this war ends, and I haven't lost a ton of troops, we'll be fine. I have more armies somewhere, right? Do we need this army down here? No, not really. Let's go ahead and pull these guys up as well. We need all hands on deck for this one. If I can bring up about 120,000 troops, that'll be pretty good. Uh, military access from Khelra. Yeah, you know what? Sure, that's fine. I don't know whose side you're on, but military access for me is probably an okay thing. Alright, let's get the troops together before I push against them. They're moving into some defensive terrain, but the more that they split up, the easier this is going to be. Now, I do think it's interesting that Austria has decided I'm the priority. I'm fairly certain there actually is something in the uh, AI that says, Hey, we're fighting the player. The player is the primary threat. Kill the player! Which kind of makes me sad. Uh, are my ships are... Okay, my ships are all backing up, which is good. So we shouldn't lose any navies in this. Hey, a gift to the state. Sweet, I'll take the money. Absolutely, that sounds great. Mm, things in the Commonwealth, okay. What's our force limit actually look like? 192. We actually could afford to get almost 50,000 troops. Another 48. Which wouldn't be that bad. What terrain can we use here? Uh, why don't you go up to the highlands? If they make a move down there, we'll get them. Now, I'm going to have a huge numbers advantage, and if I can catch them in uh, non-defensive terrain, we can absolutely wreck Ottomans... I'm sorry, not the Ottomans, the Austrians and the Commonwealth. I'm actually not worried about this war at all. This should be very easy for us. France is strong. They're going to do some pretty good stuff. They're already fighting... Yeah, they're already taking some territory up here in Europe, so they're going to distract them on the western front. I'm going to distract them on the southeastern front, and Russia is being Russia. And look how many troops they got here, too. They're, about, they're stronger than I am. I, well, about as strong as I am. So they should be able to stomp down this Commonwealth army and pr apply a lot of pressure from the Northeast. Austria and the Commonwealth can't fight three different fronts. They're going to focus a lot on me. I'm going to take a lot of losses. But that's okay, in my opinion. All right, let's go ahead and make sure that everyone knows I want this territory. And for good measure, I'll announce I would like these islands. Uh, and I would actually like the entryway into this. Proper Turkey. Just kind of control those straits. We'll make it a little bit easier for me. Um, I'm not going to announce that I want to get into Greece. I don't know. There, there's, it, it is dumb, right? Europe has so much useful stuff that going into Europe and taking over their territory is really advantageous, right? You know, I, I sh for all intents and purposes, I should have not stuck to Africa. I should have moved north and just taken over the entire Mediterranean and basically formed the Roman Empire again. Because that's just the optimal place to kill things. Whoop, we got a fort that's about to go bad. Crap, they may actually take that one. We're going to make a move down here then. Let's start moving the troops this direction. If he's going to split up this much, let's go kill them. Uh, where are you going now? Okay, he is going for the fort. It's He's going to get there before it has a chance to reinforce. So, it says minus 21%, but realistically, it's the same as any other territory. He's going to get it 100%. Very easy. So let's go ahead and put this leader in charge here. Let's actually put this leader with the maneuver so he moves around a lot faster. And let's get ready to jump on him. Now, he is in the mountains, which is not advantageous. He actually thinks he wants to push against me. That's hilarious. It's not going to work out well for you. Uh, we can't actually support this many troops in the mountains. It's too narrow. So I'm going to go ahead and move with what I have now. Um, oh, crap. He actually got my ship. Okay. Evade enemy fleets. Just run away. Don't lose more ships, you idiots. I really don't pay attention to my navy in this particular playthrough. I should, but I'm not. Alright, we have superior reinforcements and he's retreating. Good. Uh, let's see. Back up here. Go to Civis. You go to Malatya. Okay, so we've already broken a big chunk of the Commonwealth's forts in this area. Um... Now, we need to worry about Austria. Okay, can we crush... Can we crush this army here? I need to put the general in charge. Did he retreat to this location, or is he still retreating? This actually might be deceptive. I think he has small stacks here, and the big one is still going away, so I don't think I'm going to fight this entire thing. Spain has claimed defender of the Catholic faith. 
That's actually a problem if I ever attack any Catholics, because that means that I'm going to have problems with uh, Spain now. Okay, that's a stack wipe. He just lost five cannons. That's going to hurt. Now, Austria has a lot of troops over here. A lot of them. Which is a bit of a problem. Um, now, these are dry lands, so if he does make a push down here, he's going to be in for a world of hurt. So let's see if I can't trick him into coming further this direction. Now I'm guarding the mountains, so I know he's not going to take that. He's moving back. Okay, he's retreating now. I need to catch him in a good location. Can I... like to kill your little five stack if you're going to sit back. Uh, can we rep repay our loan? Yes, let's repay the loan. Now I don't have a lot of money, so it's a problem. You go here. You go here to the highlands. You go to these highlands. Go to Karaman, Karaman actually. You go to Tekka. Okay, so we're going to set up a defensive line here. We're going to punish him for having 6,000 troops isolated. Oh, he actually got away. Never mind. So let's make a move on... No, he's going to get away again. Hmm. Better trade steering would be really strong for us right now as far as money. But I would like to save up for some tech before the institution takes effect and starts hurting us. I really could just justify grabbing the military tech early. I have to pay a lot of extra power, but that extra cannon combat with an infantry fire would make me super duper effective in this war. But I'm not gonna. Um, as much as I would like to. We're gonna sit back and avoid that. Now let's go ahead and move these guys toward the hills. See if we can take that defensive terrain. It's basically as good as the highlands. He's retreating completely right now. Russia is pushing very aggressively on the Commonwealth, already working on some of their forts. Good job. Where's their uh, capital? That's Krukko or Krukow or whatever. Where's Warsaw? Is this Warsaw? Nope. I actually don't see their capital. I'm looking for... Oh, there it is. There's Warsaw. Interesting. They have a level 1 fort here. So the Commonwealth's capital is actually going to be shockingly easy to take if we can push through that first initial line. Full annexation. All right, Spain's taking over some natives. Kind of being a bunch of imperialist jerks, aren't they? Yep. Okay, Timbuktu. Good. So Austria has completely retreated at this point. So we're going to push forward and retake all of our territory. Um, unless they're backing off into... No, they're not crossing... They're not using ships. A loan offer from Pomerania. They would offer us a loan of 55 ducats? Why would I... No, I'm fine. I don't need your 55 piddly ducats. Are you serious? Don't insult me. So yeah, Austria has just done a full retreat. Good. Uh, why don't we go over here then? Now, I'm not sure Russia is going to give us any land in this. I'm not even sure if they can. It's an independence war, not a conquest war. So that's not going to be an important goal for them. Actually, Russia just got in here and is blocking the straits for me. That's interesting. Our colony in Curia is done. Let's go ahead and clear up this area, fill in the holes. I need to be ending this video, but this is kind of a big, exciting war. By the way, have you noticed that those that, that text bug in that pop-up? It's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit off. Oh gosh, dang it! I think we just lost our good general. We did. All right, new one. He's terrible. We'll take him anyway. I am not doing very well with the uh, generals. My army tradition has not been very high this game. Venice apparently lost their war or something. Oh no, Venice absolutely won. Woo, Venice, go. Holy crud. Looking pretty solid there. I'm not sure how you have so little prestige that you lost your trade uh, group, trade league. And Genoa just lost theirs as well. How weird. They have really low prestige, but Venice just got pretty swole. Cool. Looking forward to dealing with them in the future. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and move these guys onto the fort, onto this fort. Um, put these guys together. We're going to siege down a little bit of this territory. And next video, we are going to make a massive push against the Commonwealth and uh, Greece. See what we can do there. I'm not sure I'm going to get anything out of this war, but for the sake of global politics, breaking Russia off of Austria is going to be extremely advantageous for us because I do not want to have that powerful of an Austria. And freeing up arrivals so I can get more power projection is not necessarily a bad thing either. Uh, worse come to worse. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, as always, will see you guys next time.